Okay, so check this out. Uh, it's like four degrees, and uh, I still gotta go out and do stuff, right? But let me show you how cold it is. Well, this is water. That's pretty cold. Now I gotta get the truck unburied so I can take my wife to her chemo appointment. Oof. Nothing in the world that I hate more than totally freezing temperatures. Well, actually, what would have really sucked is if this thing didn't start. That happens. I can take it, trust me. Are okay, you ready? I know, sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, you got it. I wish you would just let me down. Okay, I'll get it, baby. Move your hand. Yeah, it gets dark early up here. So, uh, you know, please excuse my voice. I'm kind of... <clears throat> I actually have getting over the flu. But, uh... I'm gonna... While, while you watch... Uh, what it's like up here in Alpena, let me uh, tell you about this polar vortex that the country is experiencing. Uh, I'm going to read this off of AccuWeather dot com it says as the coldest weather in 20 years surges into major population centers in the United States many are raising eyebrows over its rare cause the positioning of the polar vortex a polar vortex is a large pocket of very cold air typically the coldest air in the northern hemisphere which sits over the polar region in the winter season the frigid air found its way into the United States when the polar vortex was pushed south reaching southern Canada and the northern plains, Midwest, and the northeastern portions of the United States. This is why we've had such extreme cold, says ex expert meteorologist Brett Anderson. He continues, the polar vortex moves around at times during the course of the winter, but rarely do you see it get pushed this far south. A large, powerful, high-pressure system originating in the eastern Pacific is stretching to the North Pole shoving the vortex farther south than is typical, allowing it to settle in Canada and the United States. Anybody that's seen my videos knows that I'm pretty fond of putting up that uh, uh, 45th parallel sign to show you that we're halfway between the North Pole and the equator. It's pretty cool. Uh, okay, the story continues. These high-pressure systems can reach Alaska, but it's not typical to stretch all the way to the North Pole. The vortex is threatening temperatures as low as minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit in the plains and the negative 20s and negative teens farther into the Midwest. You know, this is the kind of uh, cold that you just cannot be out in, folks. Uh, the wind chill, like right now, the wind up here in the Alpena, the wind chill is like 36 degrees below zero. Your skin will freeze within minutes if it's uh, exposed to that kind of temperature. So, you want my advice? If it's at all possible, you should stay home. Stay out of the wind, stay out of the snow, stay warm. Make yourself some hot cocoa cuddle with somebody you love and just wait for this arctic vortex to pass and until next time my name is Bob Powell thank you for watching the truth is viral there goes my hat God bless super fun.
it's only 36 degrees below zero. Thank you for watching The Truth Is Viral with your host, Bobby Powell. Make sure to follow The Apocalypse on Twitter at The Truth Is Viral. Like The Truth Is Viral on Facebook. And if you can, please remember to donate to the cause via PayPal at www.bobpowell.blogspot.com. Yeah.